الكل ده يشوفه تمام رجاء سووا ميوت للمايكات مالكم اوكي ميوت يور مايك بليز ناو وي ويل تاك اباوت شابتر 3 شابتر 3 ذا فور ذا باست وي نو تاك اباوت سمبل باست باست كونتينيوس باست سمبل باست بيرفكت اوكي اند باسيف باست Before that, uh, I found something uh, uh, you might need to learn. Like this one, it is out from the books and uh, extra topic to learn uh, how to uh, like make your language more professional, not enhance it, but make it more professional. Speak more as native. Like uh, I took this from nice website. Uh, website? No, I found it in the Facebook, I think. So you will find this easy. English is easy on Facebook, on uh, and I think in the well, you will find it. So you will find a useful topic here. Like guys, when you say good, good, it is okay. We say it good, but everyone say good. If you like to show the business, you are like professional speaking. You have to be not good. You have to say productive. This is a productive. That means this is good things. Productive. Oh, it's okay to say. I have like, oh, there is lots of work. But in business, it is better to say a heavy workload. Today we have a heavy workload. That means we are super busy today. You see the difference? I found like last time Dr. Safa gave you how to write email. When you just respond to someone, it's okay to say I got your email. But it is better to say I received your email. This is more proficient. Okay guys, are you with me? Can someone talk the other? Can anyone participate? Hello. Anyone would like to participate? Just unmute your mic and read the other. Uh, can I? Yes, please. Um, sorry, what should I read? This one. You see the mouse? Hi, right, talk oh. about it later. Talk about it later. Okay. We will discuss it later. Hmm. Okay. The formal one. This one more oh, polite, more professional, more more. It is not only in the business. This is in, in the business because you need it in on the official way. But uh, you can do it also. Like uh, especially this one when we talk with your wife. Okay, we will discuss it. If your wife told you, we would discuss it later. So do it, please. <laughs> Don't try to ask her to discuss it now. Otherwise, you or you will be the biggest loser. Need help? It's okay to see. Yeah, I need help, but oh, this work required assistance. That means I need someone to help me. You know, when you work with and uh, you need some help, you can ask your your boss. Tell him, okay, my boss, this work, this work. Required assistance. That means I need a help from someone. I just want to. I just want to. When can I? When can I do that? When can I? Another one can would like to participate. When I tell someone check in your email, like or check in, check in, uh, check it in. That's mean, uh, this way to say, expect an update. That's mean, am I expect an, an update? That's mean I have to check it in later. Sorry for delay. This also in the email. Okay to say sorry for delay, but you can say thanks for your patience. Uh, anyone carrying this one? Can I? Yes, please. I please, if anyone participate, just 
uh, write it in the chat, your name, please. Okay. I'll see the email. Or, 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 you know, to make it easier, give me your name. What's your name? Uh, Samalif. Samalif. And the other girl, where, the girl that's part Zainab Hashim. Zainab Hashim. Zainab Hashim. This guy's for participation, you know. Okay, thank you. Come on. Okay, Shama, just read it. Okay, so the informal one is didn't see the email, but the formal one is thank you for reminder. Yeah, thank you for reminder. I think we okay, should. I, uh, you know, when you someone said, okay, uh, I'm waiting, or I just did you receive my email? It is, it is okay. It's okay to say, oh, sorry, I didn't see the email. But it is instead of polite, you know, and being the weak, weak point, you can say thank you for your reminder. Or, thank you, thank you for reminder. That's mean thank you for reminder. Okay. I think we should. It would be best if we. I think we should it is strong, you know. I think we should to do that. No, it will be best if we did this. This also it is if we need the help from someone or we discussing something. If you say I think we should to do that, that's mean you force him to do it. But when you say, oh, yeah, uh, Sama, uh, it will be best if we uh, did uh, the project in this way. This more politely, more professional, more friendly, you know. The sound of the language is also important. That's why I, I just give you like, uh, such topics because you need to watch your language, I would say. Not only know the language, and watch it and enhance it. Does that... Let me know if you... Does that... It is better to say instead of does that... Let me know if you will come to the party. Or let me know if you plan to travel next week. Oh, this makes sense. Makes sense. Have a question. Have a questions. You have a, like there's a questions here. No problem. Instead of say okay, thank you for no problem. It is better to say I am always happy to help. You know, see, it is a little different, but make your language. Also something like uh, I find it is maybe you need to to know the different like put in put in t-shirt or that was a take off t-shirt pick up a pizza or the drop of the pizza get on the bus get off the bus run after I am run after the thief. The thief run away. Speed up, slow down. This is the opposite. Okay, so try to learn. Okay. Now, guys, we have this. We will start with the test your grammar with the passive with the past things. Okay, guys, watch these three pictures. This is from the book. Okay. We talk about the grammar. Based on the picture, read the questions, guys. Guys, you will have a quiz on this one now. I will send you a quiz. And the quiz you will answer, you will just choose A1, B2, like C3, okay? So focus with, with me, please. Give attention. When Mark arrived home, behind Mike, arrived home, Carol 
cooked dinner. Okay, the sentence is correct, and it is a past sentence. Talk something happened in the past, or still continuous. I don't know. We will know later. When Mark arrived home, Carl was cooking dinner. <coughs> and when Mike arrived home, Carl had cooked dinner. Which one fit on this one? First, before you answer, we need to talk about these three tense. Carl cooked dinner. Carl cooked dinner. Carl was cooking dinner. And Carl had cooked dinner. Carl had cooked dinner. Was cooking dinner. Okay. Carl cooked dinner. When you see the verb with the ed, that means okay, it is in the simple past simple. Simple things to know. Cooked. Simple past tense. Why? This is explaining the main event. That means the event has happened. The main event is something cooked in the past. And it's introduced something. She cooked dinner sometime in the past. And the dinner may be not be here for you to see or eat, or it may be has been eaten already. That means this this something's happened in the past. Which one represents this one? The cooked dinner is which picture of this or one of these, okay? Write it in a pen, try to discuss it, you can talk it and we will see. So she cooked dinner in the past and everything happened in the past. And you are not sure if you the dinner is still available for you or not. Because everything happened, the cooking happened, the event. The main event is the cooking happened in the past. Carl was cooking, was cooking dinner. Is the past a progressive or continuous past? It's express the background event showing what happens that's happened and still continuous happen in the background. That means it's maybe in the past or still continuous. And Carol had cooked dinner is a present perfect tense. This one is a present perfect tense. Express everything that's happened before and before the other hap the other events. That means happen some events happened before another events. Like in this sentence, we have two events. Mike arrived, coral cooking. Which one happened before? Okay? This explains. Finish the letter and the result is still here. That means including that she is finished the cooking dinner and the dinner is still here for you to see. Still, you, you can see. The dinner is here and you can still see it. Okay, guys, I will send you now Doctor, which one is the answer. I have a question. Yes. For one A, B, C. Look to the picture, guys, before your uh, question, answer the quiz. I will send you guys a quiz now. Can I answer, Doctor? No. I will send you guys now a quiz. Guys, now check your classroom, okay? The quiz guys now sent you. Here is the question. Okay, guys, guys, did you get the quiz? Guys, you have five minutes to answer the quiz. I make it simple. Just take the question, select one of the options. 
this one A, this one B, this one C from the picture. Guys, did you get the quiz? من عندكم بالحضور ما سجل اسمه؟ يلا عين. هسا خلينا نشوف. الأي. الأي ده شوفون هو Mark arrived the food on the table. Which one? Carol cooked dinner. Carol was cooking dinner. Carol had cooked dinner. يا هي الاي يا شو الاي يا هي الاي 3 كارل هات كوب دينر اوكي ويل بي دينر الجارد من اللي قال الاي 3؟ شو اسمك يعني؟ دكتور منار فنار ملاك سلام؟ منار فنار ملاك؟ منار منار سلام؟ فنار لحظة عين فنار فنار؟ شو اسمك؟ منار فنار منار فنار دكتور حكتب لك اياه ايه حكتب لك اياه لا ما يحتاج منار فنار ملاك لو منار منار اي منار فلار اي تمام والثاني يلا طلع من الثاني الصورة الثانية لوك هير لوك هير لوك هير لوك هير تو ذا فود وير از ات 1 نمبر 1 1 هاي دينر نمبر 1 منو قالت واحد منو اكو اثنين قالوا اساميكم شنو مها بشير منو مها بشير وبعد الثانية منو؟ زينب حيدر دكتور منو؟ زينب حيدر زينب حيدر؟ نعم دكتور تمام وكيل الثالث مبين ضاعوا؟ تو واحد تو 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 ثري تمام؟ هذا السؤال يختصر لكم مادة المادة مال الشابتر هذا كله إذا عرفتوا تميزون إذا تلاحظون هنا الإذن كارل هاز كوك دينر هاد كوك دينر there is two events he's arrived and found the the food and the food is still available on the table the food is ready for it that's why is when Mark arrived home And there is two events. Mark arrived home, and Carol had cooked dinner. Okay, the dinner is cooked already, and it is ready. That means the dinner is cooked in the past, and the second event that Mark is arrived now. So both things is happening in the past, and that's why it's called like uh, present perfect tense. Are they tense? Which tense? Present perfect. Come to this one. The food is still, so she is, a, she is doing cooking, okay? She is cooked. Cook the dinner. This means, when Mark arrived home, Carl cooked dinner. Cooked dinner, there is a cooked dinner here. While, 
past tense, simple past tense. This picture, as you see, the food is already, everything is ready for eat. You see, she's cooking, continuous cooking still. Continuous cooking and it is ready for eat, that's mean, and we have two sentences. When Mark arrived home, Carol was cooking dinner. She's continuous cooking dinner, that's mean past progressive. Continuous. Why pass? Because we talk about when mark arrival. This one another example. You see the question here. When Andre arrived at work at 9 a.m. So 9 a.m. Andre arrived at work. Okay? Can you see it? Uh, I will choose this one, laser pin. Okay, see? Here the time is Andre arrived. Good. Now you see this tense. Everything happened before Andre arrived and continuous. So her her had the secretary had opened the post. That's mean the Secretary had opened the post to check it, to check everything that's happened before Andre arrived until he is arrived. While this time sequence, when Andre arrived at work at nine, her secretary was opening the post. Opening before he arrived, opening the post, and he arrived and now still continuous, you see. While anything happened after nine, that's mean her secretary opened the post. That's mean when Andre arrived at home, after he arrived at home, her secretary opened the post. You see the time frame? So if you want to understand that, you can simple distinguish between these case scenarios. As you see, always we're talking about something in the past. That's the continuous. Because you open the post, that means he arrived after that. The other event happened. Past simple. Past simple when we talk about the past. I you see, I finished yesterday. I finished. I left work yesterday. I did the city three weeks. I I left work three weeks ago. I arrived three weeks ago. She is okay. Everything is come with the verb plus ed. This why I left. It is our regular verb. Guys, uh, in the book. Go to the last page, I think, in the book, page number 157, and you have a homework, a regular verb. Be careful, read it, save it in your mind, because you will get it in the ground. A regular verb. So, I finished yesterday, I finished at 3 o'clock, she... Or oh, we are we arrived three weeks ago. Arrived, arrived, arrived. Negative. I did not leave yesterday. She did not did not leave. Left. Leave. You see, this is past. Leave. Did, finish, did, leave. So did or did not come with the, with what? Tell me. Did and did, did or did not follow with the, follow with the what? Hello guys. Anyone can tell? You see, I finished. 
at 3 o'clock. Or I left at 3 o'clock. I did not leave at 3 o'clock. Why here come I left? Why here I leave? Can anyone tell me? Can anyone tell me the, the difference between leave and leave and left? Doctor, uh, leave is the infinitive form of the verb, but left is the past form. So why I use it leave, not left? Because well, I did say I did not lift. I after did we have to use the infinitive form. Thank you. Let me see, guys. Be careful with this one. What's your name? Safa Hussam. Thank you, Safa. Be careful with this. So you see, it's come with the past verb. Past verb come with the ed. Or our regular things. Question. How do you question with the past simple? When did she finish the report? When did she get married? When did he get married? You ask the question. So you ask when did he finish the report? Okay. When he finished the report? Can I say, let's say, when did he finish the report? Can you say, when did he finish? No. You have to say, when did he finish? And how, how to ask a uh, response to short answer? Like, did you enjoy the meal? Yes, we did. No, we did not. Did you enjoy the meal? When I talk with did, that's when I talk about the past things. When you ask a question in the past, pass with did. You cannot say do or do, okay? Did. That means talk about past. So past simple. Use past simple. We use it first in finishing action in the past. Like we met in 2008. 2020 or 2019, if you talk about some friend you met in the school. I went to Manchester last week to uh, John left two minutes ago. Something happened in the past, okay? Left. I went to Morocco, went, met, okay? Or action for each other in a story. Like you're telling the story about something happened in the past and there is action that happened. This past simple. Mary walked in the, in the, into the room and stopped. She listened carefully. You see now, everyone now is talking about Mary. Can anyone continue reading for me? She heard a noise coming from behind the curtain. She threw the curtain open, and then she saw. Thank you. You see, now we talk about the Mary and her story, and everything here happened when? In the past. So that's why I use a simple past. Come to the verb and see it is end with ed. What's your name, please? Uh, Zainab. Zainab Hash. Zainab Hashim. X2, this is second time. What's okay. Thank you, Zainab. Another case uses past simple. And we say the past simple by just adding ED. Anyone can read when past ED? situation happened. Okay, happened something happened in the past. Yes, please. Can I doctor? Yes, please. When I was a child, we lived in a small house by the sea. Every day I played on the beach with my brother. This use is often expressed with used to. We used to live in a small yeah, we house. Used to live. We used to walk. We used to go shopping. You see? 
You see, in the past, things I used to do, I used to go to the school, I used to go to the college every morning, yes? You used to do something. You. What is the meaning of used to? Can anyone tell me? Like a habit in the past. Yes, habit in the past and I still continuous now, you know? Something, I used to do it. Like, mean, okay, always I go to home. After work. I used to go home after work. I used to pick up my son from school. That means something regularly I do. Okay? But in the past happened. That means I understood continue to do it. But now we talk express of something you used to. I used to do it. This is the meaning of used to. Thank you. What is your name? Safa Hassan. Safa Hassan, also this is second participation. Guys, it clear? Until now, that when I use the past simple, three cases, finish action in the past. I want to cut her last week. Okay, or telling a story about something happened in the past. Or telling a story about someone. About the, when you talk about someone. Okay. Someone he like Mary here and we passed situation or happened. Something past situation or happened that you will always do it like used to do it. When I talk about habit, habit does mean something I okay, this is my lifestyle, <laughs> like I do it every day. This is my habit. This is the meaning of the habit. Past situation. When I was a child, I lived, okay. So, so with the past simple, how can, when I have, now we will learn, when I will add ED and other scenarios. Most verb, you only add ED to the verb, to the base form of the verb, so you will convert it to the past. Work, you see? Work, worked. Want, wanted. Help, help it. Wash, washed. Simple. But when verb end with E, you will only add ED. Like, liked. Used, used. Okay? Hated, hated. Hate, hated. You see? But if the verb has only one syllable, one syllable, with one vowel sound, and one constant, so you have vowel, constant, rob, rob it. So you see here, one syllable, plan, one syllable, plan. We have a vowel, a, n constant, so I double the N, I, I add ED. Stop, vowel, constant, stopped, okay? Except cooked, because we have a cooked, we have double vowel here. Seated, you have seat, seated, double vowel, EA. Okay? So be careful. Another way to convert to the past simple. Constant into a double if, if it is Y or W, like played, play, played, okay? Constant, vowel, but end with, R, with Y or W, we keep it as this. Just add ED. Okay. The most two syllable. Now we talk about two syllable. Pre, fair. Add, add, method. You see two syllable. Okay. And constant and is doubled. If there is one second syllable, you see pre, fair. So the R is doubled. Admitted. 
T is doubled, come with the four. So be careful with this. Plus here, like if we have it carry, carry R constant Y, you are converted to R. Constant Y converted to R. Form positive and negative and how to question. I was working. I was working. Past continuous. We were working. They they were working. They, but the question what was she doing? What was he doing? What were you doing? So this is the question. What was where? Past, past firm. Was, was not. Same thing. Were you looking for me? Were they are waiting outside? Yes, I was. No, I was not. Were you looking for me? You talk about something happened in the past that's still continuous. You are looking for me. You find someone is sound is searching for you and he would like to see you. So you, you will ask him, Were you looking for me? You say yes, I was. Yes, I was. I was. I was. Okay. No, I was not. Were they waiting outside? Instead of say, are they waiting outside? Were they waiting outside? That means something happened. They are waiting before I come. And still continuous. The wait is still continuous. Okay? It is different than are they waiting outside. Yes, they were. No, they were not. That's why the often the past continuous, often with the sentence in the past simple, and the past continuous. Like, look to this simple sentence, so you will understand it. And the best one, it was the example that you made a it, guys. But here also good. Example, you see, these guys, this child, children, were playing in the garden, and there is another event happened. When their grandparents arrived, you see, so the, this guy was, was playing, and the parents arrived. So two events happened. That's why I use past continuous. The children were playing, Still playing, still doing in the past. Because I am telling a story in the past about something happened in the past. And always we, we use it because always we tell a story about what happened with us in the school, what happened with the, in the class, what happened in the bus, or. Uh, the children, or what happened with your friend, something. So. It is an important topic. The children was playing in the garden. This happened in the past. When their grandparents arrived. Two things happened in the past. That's why I use were playing. Were playing. That means was past continuous. The past continuous is used to express activity in the progress before and probably after now. هاي <تصفيق> And uh, probably after. That means at 7 o'clock, 
this morning I was having my breakfast. I walked past your house last night. There was an awful lot of noise. See, two things happened in the past. One, two events happened. Understood, like progress before something. That's why we talk in the background. Uh, for description, like John looked beautiful. She was wearing a green cotton dress. Her eyes was shining in the light of the candles that were burning near. You see, you're telling a story and descriptive about something happened in the past. Interrupted part activity, same thing. When the phone rang, I was having a shower, you see? Two events happened. Phone rang, I was having a shower. Interrupted activity, you can see. To simply incomplete activity in the past in order to contrast the past simple that expresses the complete activity. I was reading a book during the flight, okay? But did you finish the book? No, I didn't finish it. So that's why. I was reading a book during the flight. It is interrupted. The book is interrupted. I didn't finish. I watched the film in during the flight. Okay, I finished all the film. That's why. That's all. So I was reading, I watched. See the difference? If it is interrupted, I will use past continuous. If it is not interrupted, I will use simple past. Past simple, past continuous. Okay, past continuous. Something can be used in the past simple. Past continuous. The past simple focus on the past action. The past continuous focus in duration. Okay, we talk. Let's talk about past. Uh, another question here. Same thing. Okay, the question was it. We already take it. What was Peter doing when, the other thing, when his father died, he was studying, studying. What did Peter do when his father died? He went home to his mother, you see. Two events happened. Past perfect. Past perfect means uh, something happened before. Like the example of, and it's still continuous. The food is ready. The example was in. There was action in the past that was completed before another action in the past. We have two events in the past, one completed before the other. The form of perspective will become I had or you had seen him before or I had not seen him before, or you had finished the work at 6 o'clock. The question, where had you been before? Where had she been? Okay. This is a simple way. Same as before. Like, had you already left? So it's come with the had, 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 you see, had, had not, had, had not. Past perfect. Past continuous come with the was, where, where had. Had he already left? The question, yes, he had. Where had she been before? You see, like, this is uh, simple. When I got home, I found that someone had broken into my apartment and had stolen my DVD player. So I called the police. You see the story? First, everything happened in the past. What? What did the first thing happen? My DVD was in the store. And I arrived home. After that, I called the police. So my DVD player was stolen. I arrived home. I called the police. So the actual one that someone or the event, the first event happened, someone broke in into my apartment and stole my DVD. And the next event, the fellow event, is I got home and called the police. 
In such case, we use had like my DVD, my apartment, and had stolen my had stolen my DVD, had stolen my DVD. So we have two action happened in the past. One and there is another one after it. Like this one. I did not want I didn't want to go to the cinema with my friend because I was not like or I was seen the film before. So what does that mean? First thing I saw the film in the past. I saw it before. My friend saw the film when they went to the cinema. No. Like I saw the film, so the action when I saw the, the film because I already saw it before. And my friend was my friend was saw the film. My friend saw the film. Both action happened in the past. But the different here. My friend went to the cinema to see the film. For me, no, because I already I saw the film. In such case scenario, I will use the past perfect. Guys, I give you this, this uh, example to just distinguish between past simple, past perfect, past continuous. Okay. The difference between, like here, the following sentence: When I go to the office, Pete, Peter went home. First happened with, I arrived to the office. You see, look guys, when I go to the office, Peter went home. What does that mean? That means I, I arrived to the, to the office and Peter went to his home or left the office or Peter disappeared. That's me. But first, I arrived. After that, he just disappeared or left. But here, when I got to the office, Peter had gone home. Had gone home. What does that mean? First, Peter left. Then I arrived. That means when I arrived in the sentence, when I use a past perfect, that means Peter was not. When I arrived to the office, I didn't find Peter. Peter was already gone to the home. Here is the difference between. First sentence, I arrived to the office. Like Peter saw me arrive and he left. Second sentence, no. I arrived to the office, but Peter was not there. That means Peter had gone home before I arrived to the office. I hope this is clear for you. Past tense, passive. Okay, simple passive. Was where being this one used. Guys, you have this for a practice for you guys. You have to do it. Practice is the chapter three. Practice one, practice two, practice four, practice eight. Okay? That's all. Thank you guys. And I will share I will add it to my profile to my academic profile chapter. This is a presentation. Okay, guys, see you next week. Sorry for your time.